The trading card game option allows you to select which type of card to sort. The sort preset option allows for a series of pre-made sorting parameters to be selected. Sorting presets you create will also be available in the drop-down menu. Select the plus icon to create a new preset. Once created, custom presets are saved each time they are edited. To delete a preset, select the Manage Preset option when you have a custom preset selected. The Store option allows you to assign sorted cards to a specific store. Multiple stores can be viewed under the same account. The Location option allows you to pinpoint the location of one specific Fizzbatch 9000 within a large area like a storefront or a warehouse. The Missing Price Defaults to option allows you to set the price of cards for which there is no recorded pricing data. The Limit Search by Set option lets you sort cards limited to a specific set. Other presets could be selected to sort within the chosen set. When the foil sorting feature is set to off, it will not actively search for foil cards. Your machine may still choose a foil card if the card detected can only be found in a foil card format. The detect option will run an additional process which actively determines if a card is a foil or not. This additional process will slow the sorting speed to approximately 45 cards per minute. The foil option tells your machine that every card in the hopper is a foil card. Use this option when processing pre-sorted foil cards. The normal option tells the machine that no cards in the hopper are foil cards. The Fizzbatch 9000 has 13 bins. 12 of which can hold 500 cards. When sorting, it is important to remember that your machine checks bins from left to right. When choosing the priority of a bin, it will evaluate the criteria of the first available bin. If a card matches the preset of a bin, it will be deposited within that bin. If a card does not match the preset, it moves on to the next available bin and restarts the process. Each sort requires one unidentified and one overflow preset. You can assign those two presets to whichever bin you choose. The unidentified bin will accept cards that are not recognized, while the overflow bin will accept cards that are recognized but do not match any bin criteria. The following sort presets can be found in the search bar. Card name, card type, color, converted mana cost, land type, rarity, set, and value. You can also type whichever preset you want to choose in the search bar. When sorting using values, it is important to remember that your machine checks bins from left to right. When value sorting, we recommend using descending values. Value of cards are selected from TCG Player Marketplace and are applied to cards at the time of sorting. A change in value from TCG Player Marketplace will not be dynamically updated in your library. Bins will fill sequentially into other bins if they have identical criteria. When using the advanced sorting options, bins will also fill into other bins if they share the same criteria, regardless of their order within that bin. Once a bin is full and there are no other identical bins with available capacity, your machine will pause the sort. You will then need to physically remove the cards from that bin and click the empty bin button before you may proceed with sorting. Mark bin as option sets a bin with presets that cannot be altered. This includes presets such as discover by, face up, duplicates, overflow, and unidentified. If an option is selected in the Mark Bin As preset option, any advanced alteration to the sorting mode will be unavailable. Discover by Name course allows the first 11 unique cards to be sorted into each bin. This allows for 121 unique cards to be filtered. Discover by Name assigns each bin to the first card that reaches it. That bin will then only accept cards with that specific name until the end of the sort. Once a course sort is complete, 
Run each stack of cards in each bin through your machine using the Discover by Name preset. This will filter the 11 cards in each stack from the course sort down to one in each bin, allowing your FizzBatch 9000 to separate up to 121 unique cards in two sorts. Discover by Set Course and Discover by Set uses the same logic as Discover by Name Course and Discover by Name, but assigns bins to a set rather than a name. There are three duplicate settings available. The first is Unlimited. The second is Max Exact Duplicate. The third is Max Exact Duplicate by name only. The Unlimited setting does not look for duplicates and will accept any cards. The Max Duplicate by name only setting considers any card with the same name to be a duplicate, regardless of other variants like foiling, sets, art, etc. The Max Exact Duplicate setting will consider an exact match to be a duplicate, meaning the same set, the same name, the same foiling, the same number, etc. Multiple conditions can be set for the sorting of a bin. These multiple conditions operate under two criteria, an N criteria and an OR criteria. The N criteria merges a minimum of two sorting presets to create a more defined preset. All criteria connected to an AND logic must be true for a card to be sent to that bin. The OR criteria uses two or more presets to create a more defined preset. If a card matches any of the criteria connected by an OR logic, it will be sent to that bin. Clicking the plus symbol creates a new condition group. Each group is separated using an OR logic for easier organization. Bin settings can be cloned and reused. Click on the Update button at the bottom of the bin you have edited. Then click on the Load Bin Setting from Template option on the top left corner. Type in a name for your new preset. In a new bin, click on the Advanced Option button. On the top left corner of the screen, click the Load Bin Setting from Template option and select the previously made preset. Click on the three dots next to the name to save, modify, or delete the bin setting. Select the three dots and click Load. For more information, please contact support at tcgmachines.com.